Answer this question in under five seconds and give your answer as a decimal. What's 51 divided by seven? Wouldn't it be cool if you could instantly declare your answer to be 7.285714? Well, that's what we're gonna look at next. Seven goes into 51 seven times with the remainder of two. So the answer as a mixed number is seven and two sevenths. Two sevenths is a common fraction. We're going to learn the decimal equivalents of all fractions ranging from one half to 14 fifteenths. And there's really not much to it. One half is 0.5 because it's 5 tenths. One third is 0.3 repeating, which is often symbolized with a line over the repeating digit. Two thirds is 0.6 repeating. One fourth is 0.25, of course. It's no accident that 25 cents is called a quarter. Two fourths is one half. Going forward, let's skip the fractions, which simplify to fractions we've already covered. 3 fourths is 0.75, 3 quarters. The fifths are easy, just convert to tenths. For example, 1 fifth is 2 tenths, or 0.2. 2 fifths is 4 tenths, or 0.4, and so on. 1 sixth is simply 0.16, where the 6 repeats. Just take the 1 and the 6 and put them side by side, and remember that the six repeats. So that's one to memorize. Five over six may also be easier memorized. It's 0.83 where the three repeats. There's an easy trick for memorizing numbers, but we'll get to that later. The sevenths, all you have to do is memorize this string of numbers. One, four, two, eight, five, seven. It's not hard because 7 doubled is 14, 14 doubled is 28, and 28 doubled is 56, which is just slightly under 57. Here are all the sevenths. The number order is always the same. It just comes down to where to start the sequence. 1 seventh starts on 1, 2 sevenths starts on 2, 3 sevenths starts on 4, and 4 sevenths starts on 5, so those are a plus 1. And the last two are a plus two. Five sevenths starts on seven, and six sevenths starts on eight. So learn the sequence as well as how to figure out where to start the sequence. And that's all there is to that. So answer this question in under five seconds. What's 29 divided by seven? The answer is 4.142857. The eighths are easy. One eighth is 0.125. Half of a quarter is 12 and a half cents. Three eighths is three times 0.125, which is 0.375. Five eighths is five times 0.125, or 0.625. 7 eighths is 7 times 0.125 or 0.875. Ninths and tenths are very easy and very similar. 1 ninth is 0.1 repeating, and 1 tenth is 0.1. 2 ninths is 0.2 repeating, and 2 tenths is 0.2. 3 ninths is 0.3 repeating, and 3 tenths is 0.3, and so on. The elevenths are also easy, just take the numerator and multiply by nine. One eleventh is 0.09 repeating. Two elevenths is 0.18 repeating. Two times nine is 18. Three elevenths is 0.27 repeating, and so on. One twelfth. You'll remember that five over six is 0.83 where the three repeats. And you know that that's the same as 10 over 12. So all you have to do is take a tenth of 0.83 where the three repeats, and that makes 0.083 where the three repeats. 
5 twelfths is half of 5 over 6. 5 twelfths is 0 0.416, where the 6 repeats. 7 twelfths is 0.583, where the 3 repeats. And 11 twelfths is 0.916, where the 6 repeats. Memorize the twelfths. Soon we'll know a great trick to make memorizing numbers really easy. The thirteenths have a remarkable pattern. They're easily derived on the fly. Take five thirteenths, for example. Take the numerator five. Multiply it by seven, which makes 35 our working number. Take the working number's tens digit, in this case three, and add it to the working number, in this case 35. 35 plus 3 is 38, and those are the first two digits of the answer. Take the ones place digit of the working number, 35, which is 5, and subtract 1 to make 4. That's the next digit of the answer. So far the answer is 0.384. And now we get three more digits by complements of 9. 3 plus what equals 9? Write 6. 8 plus what equals 9? Write 1. 4 plus what equals 9? Write 5. So the answer is 0 0.384615, and the whole batch of six numbers repeats. Let's try another one, 7 thirteenths. Multiply the numerator by 7. 7 times 7 is 49, our working number. 49 plus tens digit 4 is 53, the first two digits of the answer. Working number 49 ends in 9, from which we subtract 1 to get 8 as the next answer digit. The rest is just complements of 9. 5, 3, 8, 4, 6, 1. All repeating. Here's one that might trip you up. 1 thirteenth. 7 times the numerator 1 is 7, so 7 is our working number. We need a tens digit and a ones digit. So all we do here is call the working number 07. And the rest of the problem is treated normally. And here's one more that might throw you off, 10 thirteenths. Seven times numerator 10 is 70. 70 is our working number. 70 plus its tens digit seven is 77. Those are the first two digits of the answer. The working number's ones place digit is zero, from which we have to subtract one. Zero minus one is negative one. Negative one is the next digit. So the most recent digits, seven and negative one, correct to six, nine. So the answer is 0 0.769230, all repeating. Let's look at the 14ths carefully. Take a close look at the first two decimal digits. In each case, those first two digits equal the numerator times seven, and the second digit indicates the start of our familiar sevenths pattern. There are a couple of slight variations to the rules, which we'll talk about shortly. Let's take 3 14ths, for example. Numerator three times seven is 21, so we write 0.21. The 1 tells us where to begin the sevenths pattern. So after the 1, we write 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. Those last six digits all repeat. Let's try 5 sevenths. Numerator 5 times 7 is 35. So we write 0.35. The 5 tells us where to begin the sevenths pattern. So after 5, we write 7, 1, 4, 2, 8. The last six digits all repeat. In the case of 1 14th, numerator 1 times 7 is 7, but that's not two digits. We simply write 0, 7, and the rest of the problem takes care of itself. In the cases of 9 14th, 11 14th, and 13 14th, the first two digits are the numerator times seven plus one. For example, nine fourteenths, numerator nine 
times 7 is 63, but the decimal starts as 0.64. The rest of the rules hold true though. We take 4 as the first digit of our seventh pattern. So after 4, write 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. And the last six digits, I'll repeat. Finally, the fifteenths. These have factors of fifths and thirds. Thirds being a factor, we can be sure that the pattern will have repeating digits. The fifteenths will end in a repeating three or six. And as usual, we're only interested in fifteenths that don't simplify to other fractions. Memorize one fifteenth as 0 0.06 where the six repeats. Two fifteenths is 0.13, where the three repeats. We're just doubling one fifteenth. Four fifteenths is 0.26, where the six repeats. We're doubling again. Seven fifteenths is just under one half, and we know it's going to end in a repeating three or six. What's the closest we can get to just below one half and have a repeating three or six. The answer is 0.46, where the six repeats. Eight fifteenths is just above one half. What's the closest we can get to just above one half and have a repeating three or six? The answer is 0.53, where the three repeats. The last three, just memorize them. 11 fifteenths is 0.73, where the three repeats. 13 fifteenths is 0.86, where the six repeats. And 14 fifteenths is 0.93, where the three repeats. So we've taken a look at every fraction from one half to 14 fifteenths. And we've had only to memorize a few things. Memorizing numbers will get even easier when we take a look at the phonetic code a little bit later.